Hey everybody, I want to show you this um, idea I had. Don't know if I'm going to live through the night or not on this one. <laughs> um, I got this from Lone Wolf 902. Um, he put, uh, if you go look at that, Lone Wolf 902, I think he's Canadian. And um, he had used one of these, um, oh, I don't have it here. Uh, let me see if I can show, well, let me see if I can get a picture of what I did on the floor. You, you see this on the floor? This is a, um, a lantern um, thing, and it's actually running right now. Let me see if I can show the flame in it. It's actually running right now as we speak. Okay, that's an actual flame in there. Okay, I'm running um, just, just lamp oil for now because I want to see if it's even going to heat up my trailer. This is a uh, absolute freaking mess. So um, this is the trailer. I just got back here as well. My luggage, but I'm going to put away later. But um. It's um, 16 feet. I got this room over here, which is the uh, the bathroom. That's me in the mirror. Another mirror. I just had a bunch of mirrors, and I just put them up for now because I think it's shipping them. It would be easier. This is my shower. That's just um, I got to clean around. I didn't wipe it off in time, but um, did that floor and everything. But um, this is a 16 foot, um, 16 foot long by seven feet wide by um probably i'm six i'm five eleven so it's probably almost seven feet but um i'm trying to heat this thing up for free um i eventually want to try and use that somehow with drain oil but this is how i have it set up okay um i got it in my when the windows right there and it's got it popping out as also and so i'm going to show you just some cement board Apply with the block the hole the ice is melting but that's just because it's nice out today um but this pipe right now it's running i can touch it here it's warm not hot um it's actually cold right here the time you get here it's like you can feel it's like a little not cold it's, it's warm very slightly warm it's warmer it's warm i can actually i can actually smell the creosote salt burning off it's a camp wood stove if you see it on top of the toilet right there this is just the exhaust from it but I can touch it still here. It's getting, I can hold on to it. I get comfortable. Um, see, that's, that's uncomfortable now. Like, it's still okay. But when I get this elbow, I can't hold on to it. This whole thing from this point down is hot. Hot to the touch. So that's warm. And right now, I just had the split unit on. Um, I shut it off probably about an hour ago. So um, we're currently at... Um, Either 20 Celsius if you're a Celsius person, or looks like almost um, almost 70, probably like 60, 66. Looks like 66 on there to me. So I'm gonna run this thing. It's exhausted out. Um, and if you look at the door, the crack of the door. Man, ain't much of a crack there today. Um, I'll have to do that to it tonight. I'll um, I'll jam something in the door, let the fresh fresh air in. I want to grab the fresh air from here to go to the to the exhaust, but. Um, even at that, I got cracks all over this thing, so I'm getting fresh air on this thing anyways, but I'm sleeping in the back, and in the back, I have, um, the, the doors bowed a little bit from when I, I had this thing absolutely stuffed, so it actually bowed the back door out a little bit, um, so I got air spaces in there, and I sleep on this side, yeah, the mattresses are nasty, but, um, I'm about ready to throw them away, because my, um, there's some good news on my uh, road trek. Um, we put a new modular modulator, which I guess is the computer of the day, um, in 94. We got a rebuilt one, lifetime warranty on it. He said it works 900 times better because the truck's, he goes, the van's running great. Um, they'll do a lower ball joint, and I got a frozen caliper. So he's going to deal with that. Um, he can only deal with it towards the end of next week. So I told him, if you don't mind hanging on to it, he's, yeah, he's fine right where it is. So he'll hold on to it while I get it registered up in... Um, South Dakota, but um, this is my first semi successful test on um, an alternative heat source in here. So I may not run it through the night, but I'm just gonna let it run for today, see how much fuel that drops down, how much fuel it drops, how much fuel I use up. Um, but um, yeah, I just want to, uh, I just want to uh, get on, um, I'm gonna just use less power. This thing's this thing eats up a lot of power. Um, not a lot of power. It's good. It's very efficient for what it's using, but it's, it just struggles when it's 15 degrees out, you know, 15 or less, it just starts struggling. And, um, I'm running on a hundred foot cord 
and that's not good for the motor in it so I don't, I don't want to wreck the motor um, or anything so I gotta um, I gotta find some alternative way of heating up in here at night so if I gotta run this all day that's fine I don't care but um, this ought to give me some kind of some kind of heat I'll have to move the refrigerator away from it and stuff but um, I should be all right I just to be very careful walking in here because it's like it's only one little flame like I said it's whatever the flame that the um, the hurricane lanterns do you know so that's my theory it's my hurricane lamp heat um, again um, lone wolf 902 he heated that tent up watch this video on that it's, it's the one when he um, he heats up a tent with his um with his lantern he just puts an exhaust on the top of it he said the only problem he had with the lantern was and i like that he puts a glass in it because you can see the flame where it's at right now i can't see the i can't see where the flame's at although i do have a glass i just don't trust it yet because that's gonna be a lot of heat and a lot of weight sitting on that glass for the night i don't really want to play that game just yet you know unless i have some way of supporting this pipe you know otherwise um, I need I need a couple more elbows. If I had two more elbows, um, I could probably do anything I want with this pipe. Put an elbow in it. It's kind of it's kind of close to my TV, you know, right here. So if I'm watching TV, it's kind of in the way. But um, you know, the other way I hung this TV too. By the way, I never showed anybody that. Let me get my flashlight. Um, again, this is all going to change once I get my road track going because um, this is how I hung my TV. I don't know if, you, if I'm gonna make it worse or better for that plate. Uh, let me do this. Let me do this done. Oh, there we go. Um, see the bracket? I just bent two. I had found two stainless steel brackets like that. I just made. I just you know put some wood. I screwed it from the outside in. So I just got brackets. It's just sitting there. You know, I could I can lift this thing up. I mean, it just lifts off. So I can't travel. I can't travel with this thing hanging there. Um, it's only, it's a, the TV's, uh, what, a 50? It's a 50 inch TV, so you've got, I think, 43 inches wide or something. I mean, it's, it's just a massive TV on an 8, 8 by 8 square of bolts. That, that thing will snap right off of there, going through a, going through the, just going, going a couple miles down the road, you know? So, um, I did that with it, and, um... So we'll see how this goes. I'll um, have to do another video because I don't know how to, I don't know how to, um, you know, fix them yet, so they look better. But I'm trying, I'm trying not to do that at the same time because I just want to keep them raw and natural. Um, I did, I did some playing with. It. Eventually, I, I may hoss around with it a little bit better, but um, for now, I just want to see if this is gonna give me some decent heat through the night. Like I said, right now, it's only been running for about 10 minutes, probably 15 minutes now. Um, like I said, I can't. I wish I could shut this down a little while I damper it more without, I think I should be able to, that, and that should lock up the heat right here a little longer before it goes out. Because I can smell the creosote burning, so it's definitely heating en up enough to get that creosote to come off of there. Um, if that happens, I'll have to shut it down, let it cool, I'll have to burn these off outside, and then bring it all back in. Um, I've already had that running with this thing. This thing reversed on me when it was a wood stove, and I had, instead of the smoke going out, all the smoke was coming in. Um, decided to dump the smoke in this trailer instead of outside. I, I didn't give it enough oxygen. So I want to make sure this, this is a much smaller flame. But the wood stove is going to burn me out of here. So that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to find something that can give me, um, um, just a more steadier amount of, um, heat. Where I'm not, um, I'm not, um, I mean, the, the um, the diesel heaters, um, Diesel heaters are way too much for this trailer too. I have to run. Everybody's complaining about running it on low. It clogs up, so I don't want to. I got a diesel heater right there, although it's not working in that box. Um, it, it's it shuts down. I don't know why. It gives a code, a code six shutdown, um, and there's, it's a it's brand new. I took it apart three times already. I don't know what's wrong. I, th I think the um, the computer is um, bad on it. So I don't know because I got I got another controller and it still did the same thing. So I don't I don't know what its deal is. But I, don't, I just want a simple flame, simple heat, leave me alone. I, I, I would love to run that thing down low, have it come across the floor, and then come up and out the window for the excess heat. But I'd have to get rid of, I'd have to empty out that whole, that whole wall in the winter, you know. That would have the heat coming up the whole wall and creating that, 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 that vortex, you know, kind of deal. But 
Um, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. This will be, um, this trail has become my, my science lab. So that's what it's going to be for now. But, um, all right, that's it for now. This is just the, um, um, hurricane lantern heat sauce. That's it. All right, bye.